Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna show you how to press a sublimation print today. So we are going to a fun concert for Kids Bob. So I'm making shirts for my daughter and her friend. Um, one of the things that I like about having the option of sublimation is that I'm not limited to the colors that I have on hand. So with HTV, you actually have to have those colors, right? And if you can see Kids Bob here, and you'll see it better once we, um, and, you know, once we do it, uh, let me grab something. Uh, actually, okay. So what's nice is we can have that blend and we can also have not just a blend of colors, but the change in, um, almost like an ombre effect, I guess, right? Like the colors get darker, lighter, it blends in. It'd be really hard to uh, duplicate that with HTV unless you had a single sheet that had that blend. Um, but here we've got lots of elements, we've got shadowing. So we're gonna be doing that today. Um, the way I like to do sublimation is, uh, you should have something in between if it's a white light shirt because your print could be really strong and it could press through onto the inside of this shirt. So I'm going to actually stick this in there because I know this is not, this is bigger than my actual print. So oh, you know what, before we do that though, because it's sublimation, you do want to get your lint roller because if there was a piece of lint, what would happen is the lint would, um, would take the, you know, it, it would keep the ink from getting onto the shirt. And so you would actually see it there. You may see like a little gap. So we want to make sure that everything is off this shirt. And I'm just going to press it just to make it, just to warm it up and keep it flat and straight so that I'm not going to be worried about wrinkles and stuff like that. So I'm going to put, put this aside. I'm going to put this up. I am using my Craft Express heat press. All right, I'm gonna pull that down. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this inside, knowing that this is bigger. I'm gonna have my headband here, I forgot to wear it. Um, knowing that my mat is bigger than my actual image. So I'm gonna stick it right in the middle. Let's make sure that this is all good. Okay, then I'm gonna take my actual drawing and you can kind of see, you know, I'm gonna trim this just so that it's easier for us to line up. Like I'm not gonna be worried about th these pieces out here, right? So I'm just gonna make this smaller so it's easier for us to deal with. And once you see me cut it down, you'll see that our mat is definitely bigger. Oh, and I forgot to ask you guys to subscribe. <laughs> if you don't subscribe already, I would love your support. So, okay. Um, I'm going to flip this over. Here's Kids Bop. I kind of want it, you know, about three, finch, three inches. No, not three inches. Three fingers down. I'm going to put this up just a little bit. Okay. So now that my image is down... I'm just gonna tape it. I can see through that says Kids Bop right here. Okay, so I know it's pretty much centered. So I'm gonna put this down just to keep it there so it doesn't move on me. I don't need a lot because it's a big piece, it's flat. Um, and then I will put this over it. I wanna make sure that no ink gets onto my heat press. All right, so here we go. We're now gonna press it. And I'm doing about 390 degrees and I'm gonna do it for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna... I'll hold down medium, light to medium pressure. And it's just 60 seconds, but you'll see that You'll see in one minute how awesome this is. Um, the other thing that I like about sublimation, this is a polyester shirt. Uh, so with sublimation, the ink basically right now, it's evaporating and it's embedding itself into the t-shirt. So when you touch the t-shirt, it's gonna be smooth. You can't feel any material on top. It just, it basically 
bled itself into the fibers, if that even makes any sense. So unlike HTV that sits on top and we can feel it and it may lift depending on, you know, if you did it the right way and then, you know, how you take care of it by washing it and stuff, um, depending on the temperature and how you do that. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna turn, I'll lift it up and I am gonna just take a peek. The nice thing about sublimation is, if you realize that the ink didn't transfer all the way, as long as it's in the same spot, we can repress it. Oh, that looks good. Yay, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up. Oh my gosh, so cute. So let me see if, it, let me see if this is better. I don't know, can you see that better? I'm trying to look. Um, but you know, this would be really hard to accomplish onto a shirt using HTV. Like the neon, the shadow, um, you know, so I love being able to just design it exactly how you want to and then get this down. And then there's nothing on here. It's, you know, it's, it's embedded to the shirt. So that means no matter how I wash it, this is not coming off. So, um, okay. Um, so I like that too. Um, just knowing that I don't have to worry about how someone takes care of it, that the colors will always be here. So, oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I can't wait to do this. Um, the Craft Express, I'll link it below. I do have a lot of their products. And um, yeah, we'll be making more things. All right, let me know if you have any comments or questions and I will talk to you guys next time.